Hello everyone and thanks for hanging out with me. I'm here in the Renault Megane E-Tech 60 kilowatt hours and thanks to Auto Sonnleitner for giving me this car for three days to test it out. Link is in the description below. Today uh, I'm doing the driving review of this car. I'm gonna drive on the highway, do acceleration test, show you the assist system, show you how you interact with the car, cruise control, top speed, all of it. First, let me show you the key. It looks like this. It's like a, not a normal key. It's like with the Zoe and the Twingo. It's a flat little thing. Um, you have unlock, lock, light on if you are in a parking lot to okay, so find your car and trunk opening and that's it. And it fits right here. <laughs> um, to turn on the car, you still have to press the power button. It does, the ignition doesn't go on automatically. Um, but cool in this car, we have Android Automotive. Um, so you have Google Maps, you can do your own account. So everything Google Maps that you used before is in the car. You can install apps and everything. For whatever reason, this car can't. I tried to install Spotify, but it doesn't work. And in the infotainment system, you have your maps, you have your music, you have and still Android Auto, phone, you have all of your apps and you have settings for your car. You have four drive uh, modes. You can switch them on the steering wheel with this sense button. Yeah. But you can switch them in here as well. And you can configure this, this how is the steering, how is the vehicle dynamics. You have a personal one where you configure all three of them and on life on board you can switch the color how it should look like um, and the light intensity how the climate is and everything it's really done very well i'm going to go in sport mode now because i'm going to do acceleration test when you're in sport mode you have uh, g meters left and right and front uh, and back so forward uh, reverse you can switch the view of your instrument cluster which is really nice with this button you can have your map view and on the right you can switch with this uh, button from nothing to music to eco monitor tire pressure the kilometers you've driven and the, the and the odometer and your instant consumption plus your uh, average consumption and then next view is the minimal view where you don't even see the range and when you s switch that to nothing you only have this and then you have normal view like I call it where you see power uh, and regen on the left your speed and by the way you have a, a second um, in eco driving a second trip that you have here and also you can see what the consumption is of your car you go into electric and then consumption you can see right now um, climate and others are taking 500 watt and you can see how i drove in the last what was it 20 minutes what the consumption was also done very nicely um, here's your gear lever and for putting it down it's in drive and up in reverse on the side is a button to go into park and uh, you press your brake put it down it goes into drive and then every time you start you have r pedal shifters for region and the, the region is always in level one you can go into level zero which is no region or into level three but every time you start the car it's in level one it doesn't matter what drive mode and uh, you can see down it's at 85%, 231 kilometers. And blinker noise is okay. And you can even adjust it. This is the lowest volume that it has. It has also medium and loud. Um, power is really good. 218 horsepower, 7.4 seconds, 0 to 100 kilometers an hour. Top speed 160. We'll look at that in a second when we go back on the highway. I don't know why this front now is fogged up. Three, two, one, full! Oh, it starts so slow. I don't know why they have no power in the beginning. And we have to go to 102, which is 100 kilometers an hour GPS speed. Yeah, the, the acceleration from the start standstill is not good and I think it's because of uh, spinning wheels and they had to take the power down uh, significantly and that's so it's not ooh, ooh, I'm going off the line that's a big negative with this car even in sport mode 
and at 84 percent state of charge so that's it should be enough power here uh, turning circle is awesome it's just a tiny bit more than the id3 even though it's front wheel drive three two one full i had two there's a car coming i'm doing full now we have full power at 70 kilometers an hour or so Nyeh. Nyeh. So if you're driving, so at 60 or so, and then floor it, power is amazing from a standstill. It's not good. It's not good at all. Let's go on a highway, I'll show you the assist system, which are awesome. Here on the left, you have your speed limiter, you have your adaptive cruise control with self-steering. You press that and set it to set, and now, it's driving itself, ooh -hoo. <laughs> had to adjust a bit. And when you press this button here on the left, it adjusts the speed to the speed limit, plus or minus a value that you set in the car system. And I set it to plus nine, and that's why it's now at 109 kilometers an hour. That is so awesome, that is a great, great thing. Another amazing feature is when you turn off cruise control, it's not braking with full regen right away, it comes in, it fades in gradually and that's awesome. If you want to turn off cruise control, it's not, Ugh! in my ID3 I have to uh, press on the accelerator pedal before I turn it off. So I have not a, a jerky uh, uh, movement because I turned off cruise control. This is awesome, I love it. By the way, the pedestrian warning sound, you have three different sounds. Number one, I have, what I, I want to talk about is the suspension. It's awesome. This is a great suspension. It's not too soft, not too hard. It's very stable, amazing uh, suspensions. The bumps are smoothed out very well. It feels great. Really awesome. Um, kudos to that. I love it. Let's drive 130. Let's go into a normal mode, comfort, and it's blue at 130, volume in here, road noise is totally fine. It's not loud, you hear of course the wind noise and everything, but it's totally fine. No problem at all. The only thing I'm not the biggest fan of, and but it's just at high speeds, is the steering. The steering can is a bit too direct, which is okay by itself, but then a bit too soft. But when I accelerate up, let's do 150, and now we have 160, and this is our top speed. Volume is still okay, not a problem, but the steering is then so soft, um, so easy to steer with the direct steering that I need both hands on the steering wing to stay stable. Oh, I've seen that already, that car, Model X with a trailer. Um, and for example, in my ID3, that's more stable because of how the steering is at that speed. It's not as direct and it's not as soft, but still drives great. Look at that. Awesome. And it's the volume in here, totally fine. Driving this car is awesome. It gets top marks from Chris. <laughs> So uh, recommended. Regen also at level 3 is really strong. Not as strong as the Koreans, Kona, Eniro, EV6 or Ionic 5. Uh, um, especially at lower speeds, it, it gets weak very, so under 30 kilometers an hour it gets very weak and you need to do the brake pedal. So one pedal driving, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it has it. But it's way stronger regen, for uh, example, than my uh, ID3. ID3 is way less regen. So that's cool. Front wheel drive, and you notice that when you floor it, you can feel the torque steer a bit, but not too much. And again, that's I'm pretty sure because they re they reduce the power so much um, in the in the beginning of it. And like I said, 160 volume in here, all fine. All fine, drives great. Ah. You have lane departure warning, but you can just turn it off. Lane keeping system. Here, lane departure warning, you can turn it off or off, and it stays off. 
There's nothing you have to do when you get into the car except for the regen level if you don't like regen level 1. Um, I don't know if the drive mode changes. I haven't noticed. When we get back to the drive modes, in eco mode your power is restricted to only 37% and you can only drive around 105 kilometers an hour but there's a button in the accelerator pedal when you floor it then you press harder and then there's a button you get kicked out of eco mode and you have your full power if you need it so no problem there and like i said sport mode the, the, the color change uh, of the drive modes you can turn that off and specify that how you want um, uh, one down thing that i have uh, negative that I don't like that in Euro uh, like I said the Koreans also have is when you drive a constant speed without um, without your cruise control and I don't know you have your accelerator pedal I don't know 30% pressed and then you switch from comfort to sport mode in sport mode the 30% of your accelerator pedal means more power and you accelerate I'm not a fan of that um, it just because so it means when you switch through the drive modes right here on the highway you get a bit of a jerkiness when you go to eco it slows down because eco mode means 105 kilometers an hour and sport mode means more power so accelerate more so this is this is not nice that takes it away from the smoothness. The screen is very visible, uh, looks nice, I can see everything and the different views, like I said, with the map. It's just awesome. I would like to have more trips in the, in the instrument cluster. You only have one trip and then one trip in the infotainment system, but that's just how it is. And in comfort mode, you also get full power. power comes in very nicely when you're already at a speed from the standstill like I said it's crap so you have uh, automatic wiping with rain sensor and sensitivity and on the left we have auto uh, lights and, and your light that you switch on yourself yeah consumption on 130 kilometers an hour uh, test was a bit high range was we have to watch it <laughs> I'm not telling you now um, yeah Climate control is awesome to do. Amazing down here is that you can have widgets and you can put different stuff in here. Um, done very, very well. The whole system is great. I like it. it. It feels a bit more cramped in here than in my ID3 because of this and because of that. Um, but uh, it's not the most important thing. Cindy didn't like that. Uh, for me, it's more uncomfortable that the door armrest is very hard and I would like it a bit softer but that's it for me thank you much for watching have a great day and take care bye